Denny was discovered in Denisova Cave, located in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, a site famous for paleoanthropological discoveries. Her remains consist of just a bone fragment, specifically part of a long bone, which was enough to yield genetic material. When scientists sequenced the DNA from the bone fragment, they found that Denny was female and lived approximately 90,000 years ago. The analysis revealed that Denny had a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father, making her a direct hybrid of the two species. Neanderthals and Denisovans are both closely related to modern humans, having shared a common ancestor about 600,000 years ago. The Denisovans are known primarily from genetic information, as physical remains are scarce, with few fossils found. Neanderthals, on the other hand, are well documented through numerous fossils and archaeological sites across Europe and Asia. Denny's existence shows that Denisovans and Neanderthals did not just coexist, they interbred leaving a legacy in modern human DNA. This interbreeding event between the two species was not unique, as modern humans also have genetic traces from both groups. The Denisova cave, where Denny was found, has layers of deposits that have been accumulated over more than 300,000 years. Denny's genetic profile includes segments of DNA that are distinctive to both Neanderthals and Denisovans. Her discovery has helped to map out the ancient migrations of humans and their relatives across Eurasia. The DNA analysis indicates that Denny's Denisovan father also had at least one Neanderthal ancestor further back in his lineage. This hybridization event suggests that Denisovans and Neanderthals were more closely related to each other than to modern humans. Interbreeding among different hominin groups appears to have been more common than previously thought, as evidenced by Denny's genetics. Denny's mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from the mother, was clearly Neanderthal, helping identify her maternal lineage. The nuclear DNA, which comes from both parents, contained a mix of Denisovan and Neanderthal signatures. Denny's bone fragment was initially thought to be from an early modern human when it was first found. The discovery of Denny has raised questions about the definition of species, particularly in human evolution. With advanced DNA sequencing techniques, scientists were able to uncover the hidden history within Denny's genetic code. Hybrids like Denny are thought to have been fairly common as different human species met and mingled. The genetic markers of Denisovans and Neanderthals are still found in some modern human populations, particularly in Asia and Oceania. Denny's Neanderthal mother and Denisovan father likely belong to small roaming bands of hunter-gatherers. The environment where Denny's ancestors lived was harsh and varied, likely influencing their migration and interaction patterns. Despite the fragmentary nature of her remains, Denny's discovery has changed the narrative of human ancestry. Researchers used a technique called collagen peptide mass fingerprinting to ensure the bone was hominin and not from a cave bear or other animal. Denny's interbreeding evidence has implications for understanding the spread of genes related to the immune system. The genetic adaptations from interbreeding likely helped early humans survive as they migrated out of Africa into Eurasia. Denny's story illustrates the complexity and fluidity of human evolution, challenging the concept of distinct, separate species. The Denisova cave has also yielded artifacts and tools providing context to the lives of its ancient inhabitants. Denny represents a tangible link between the abstract world of genetics and the physical record of archaeology. Her DNA contains small segments that are not found in any living human populations, suggesting a rich diversity in the past. The study of Denny's DNA is part of a growing field of paleogenetics, which uses ancient genetic material to study the past. The discovery of Denny was possible due to the cold environment of Denisova Cave, which preserved DNA for tens of thousands of years. Denny's existence is a testament to the adaptability and interconnectivity of ancient hominin populations in response to changing climates and landscapes. The research on Denny has contributed to a better understanding of how genetic traits were shared and passed down through generations. The name Denny is informal. The specimen is scientifically known as Denisova 11, denoting its place in the sequence of discoveries. Scientists hope to find more remains like Denny's to further explore the genetic diversity of ancient hominins. Denny's DNA is a time capsule that provides a snapshot of the genetic diversity in the late Pleistocene era. Understanding the genetic heritage of ancient hybrids like Denny can reveal how our ancestors adapted to their environments. Denny's mixed heritage 
shows that the flow of genes across hominin groups contributed to the resilience of early humans. Researchers continue to debate how to interpret the interactions between Neanderthals, Denisovans, and early modern humans. The interbreeding revealed by Denny's genetics demonstrates that the exchange of cultural and genetic information was crucial to human evolution. Denny is a rare example of a direct first-generation offspring of two different human species, providing a unique insight into our past. A lot more research is ongoing and we will keep you up to date. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.